Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to draw Tanjiro from Demon Slayer using Procreate. If you're a fan of the show, you know that Tanjiro is a skilled Demon Slayer with a kind heart and a fierce determination. And if you're an artist, you know that drawing Tanjiro can be a fun and challenging project. So let's get started. Start our canvas with clicking on the little plus icon in the top right corner, the black plus again. We're going to do a canvas of 3,000 by 3,000 pixels and hit create. And there we go, we're ready to go. Now I've structured this tutorial as I always do. Uh, so people from different levels can join in. So I've provided two sketches and all of the things that you need to follow along with this tutorial uh, can be downloaded for free and the link is in the description below. I've set it up on Gumroad, it's a free download, although I've also set it up where you are able to donate a dollar or two to the channel to help me continue bringing these free tutorials to you on every Friday. So let's get started. If you are new to Procreate or new to drawing in general, what you can do is click on the little wrench icon up here and we will do add insert a photo and then we will load in the Tanjiro sketch that I provided for you and you shouldn't have to resize it it's the same dimensions as your canvas and there you go you got the sketch in there now what you can do is you can start a new layer we'll drag it under the sketch layer you can hit the little end and you can take the opacity of the sketch down some if you would like and then we can just start drawing right on top of this so just like that so that is one way you can do it follow along another way you can do it is if you don't feel like drawing just want to color it in well that's possible too clear that out we'll put our opacity back to full and then you can just start coloring it in so that's another way you could do it now if you've got a little experience and you know a little bit about procreate or you have some experience drawing Here's another way we can do it. So I'm going to clear, clear that layer and delete that one. Make sure we have this at full opacity and we don't. Is it 98? Okay, that's good. Uh, so what you can do next is hit the wrench icon again. We can go to canvas, so highlight canvas, turn on reference, and this right here will give us a reference photo. Hit image and then import an image and then we can import the image with the grid lines on it and then you can resize this however you like and you can put it over here on the side you can put it wherever you like actually now if you want to put the grid lines that are on your reference photo over to your canvas click on the wrench again turn on drawing guide edit your drawing guide and I've set the grid to be 305 pixels so you can just click on the 95 here type in 305 done and done again and now your grid lines over here on your canvas and your grid lines on your reference photo are exactly the same and what that does it helps us to get the proportions of the sketch correct so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm just going to start with this just like it is so I'm going to go to a black for our outline and I've given you a brush pack it's got one two three four brushes in it we have a mono stream brush we have a streamline inker brush we have a sketch brush and we have a paint brush so whichever you would like to use I'm going to go ahead and use the inker streamliner because I'm just gonna start inking actually no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna start with the sketch brush and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the sketch and we're gonna put it over here and then we'll ink on top of that okay so let's get started with our sketch And I'm going to start with the sketching pencil. Let's 
so the foot one two three four one two three four is going to come right here and across and up like that and then up to about right there and then the pants legs are going to come down to about right there Okay, sandal is up here. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, and then this pants leg is going to come down about right there. Going to come up, cut across to there. Up there. And about like that. Okay, then this leg is going to come. up about right there that's about right okay now that I got the basic where the the feet are gonna start I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger now so now that I'll know the bottoms of the legs are gonna be coming about right there so that's that square right there all right now we can see a little bit better it's gonna come up right there and then across so then the bottom of his jacket is gonna be coming to about right there and that's gonna ride all the way up to about right there okay then this pants leg is gonna overlap here and it's going to come about right there that's good enough okay this part here come to about right there and then the jacket is going to come to about right there maybe to there so we'll see and then the sword About right there that's about good okay the jacket on this side is going to come up to about right there and then his arm that looks good and maybe to about right there so you can just kind of use your grid lines to see where the items go this is going to be his top of his arm, and then his shoulder is going to come up to about right there. Okay, I'm um, just trying to get this outline part done in. Jacket is going to start coming out about right here. And come up there. Over to there. Cut through that. Okay, all right, so his belt is going to come across Am I right? I don't think I'm right. Let me match these squares up. Belt is going to come to the bottom of this. Maybe about right there, and the top of the belt's gonna come where that first line I made was. The buckle's gonna be about right there, and there's gonna be a few lines in there. Okay, and about that time, let's put his hand in here where it's gonna be. The hand will be a thumb here, and then the fingers somewhat over there. Okay, and that sword doesn't look like it's pointed in the right direction. We need to 
be more at an angle like this because it's supposed to be coming up through his hand. And that should be cutting right through there. That's good. Okay, and then the sleeve. About right there. And the big open sleeve around right there. We'll clean this up. Get all this scratch out of the way. Okay, and then his hand. His hand is actually not touching that line. It's up here. And then the open sleeve is right there. All right, that's better. Okay, jacket, arm. Let's see where his other hand's going to be coming out. It's going to be coming right here. Yep. And it's going to be going over the top of the sword there. is going to be coming up about right there okay shirt down here maybe a button folds and flaps and all kinds of goodness here it's going to come up to about right there so his sword is not Handle is going to stop about right there. And then this shoulder is going to come up over it. So almost overlapping, but not quite. Okay, and then his collar about right there. That's probably going to be coming down here with a button. That flap's going to be over. And then this is going to connect up there. Okay, let's do... Okay, and then his face. About right there. Chin going up. A little nose and a mouth. Alright, and let's get these bigger okay and this eye about right there other eye it's not going through the line it's going to be right on the edge of the line so about right there. And the eyebrow. Okay. Hair is going to come down under that eye. About right there. You guys, it looks like he's got an earring. And that's coming down to about right there. Okay. And then we have some hair. right there and then that mark on his head okay and I think we got the proportions in so that's gonna be our sketch and now we're gonna start inking this thing in
So that's going to be in the next part. So let's get started on that next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. We're going to hold it down, drag it under our sketch layer, and then we're going to take the opacity on the sketch down. And we don't need this reference photo anymore, so I'm going to hit canvas and turn that off. Probably don't need the grid lines anymore either, so I'm going to turn off the drawing guide too. Now we just got our our flat sketch in here. Okay, so let's start inking it in now. So again, using a black. So this is the color palette that I've given you. I think I've got a pure black in there. Mm, I can't remember if I did or not. Anyway, you could go to classic and just click on the bottom left corner. Make sure these sliders all the way to the left and you're going to be up uh, good. I'm going to do a streamliner brush push lightly and it gives you a thin line the harder you push it gives you a thicker line so that gives us these thin to thick to thin lines again so you'll see this often in cartoons and stuff so that's the kind of effect I want so let's start doing this that's good You know, straps on his sandals here. Yep. That's good. One thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is you make sure that you're closing these lines off. Because when we go to color it in, wow, that's a really big eraser. When we go to color it in and we do our color drops, if they're not closed in, it's going to fill the whole canvas, which is not what we want. That was a little bit bigger than I wanted. Let me bring this size down to about eight that's good it's about right there and then his heel will come up about right there we're gonna have a couple of lines here i'm gonna try to do a thick to thin on this that's good nice foot okay and now these legging parts here get the bottom of his pants leg here get that in and then we're going to do these. All right. Oops. The thing with the streamliner is you can't draw quickly with it. You have to take your time because it's going to want to try to straighten that line out. And we don't want it straightened. I'm going to try to speed up a little bit on this sketch. I don't want this video to go on so long. Okay, let's do here and then there. There we go. Okay, and the bottom of the jacket. All the way up to there. Okay, and these pants. I think I missed a jacket in there somewhere, but anyway, we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, and then around like that. Again, make sure that they're connected. Okay, let's do this sandal. Connected, good. And then, oops, not with that. 
about like that and then his strap for his sandals that's good and then about right there maybe this strap will be seen a little bit right here all right let's do these lines I'm going to be trying to do a thin to a thick. Okay, that's good. Okay, and I'm going to erase this. line because I don't think I put it in there correctly so we're gonna have his jacket bottom gonna be covering his scabbard about right there okay and then Right there. Okay. No, that's not good. So again, we want this sword, and what you can do, you want to make sure it's straight. Hold your pencil down, it's going to straighten it out, and we can make sure. If that sword is straight, and then we can go erase all the any of the lines that we might need to erase. Okay, just having to adjust the sketch just a little bit. Yep, that looks good. So remember that that flap right there came over the scabbard so we're going to erase the man this eraser is really fighting with me today going to take that off and take that off and then make the eraser a little bit smaller have that flap of his jacket overlapping let me fix these pants here okay now I'm just gonna make sure that's all connected right there all right okay and then his sleeve it's gonna connect right there come down with it right there then his hand so it's going over the sword so we might want to just erase all this sword part where his hand is going to be over it. That's good. Okay, let's get go away sword. Okay, uh, this finger here. that this is going to be a little bit of a thumb and then the sword oops connecting up there like that okay that's good okay let's get this side like that let's 
roughly is going to come down to about right there. Okay. That's good. Take this brush down a little bit in size. I don't, that line's getting a little fat. Gonna be the palm of the hand there. Okay, let's get these fingers in. That's good. And then the sword. Just like that. And be kind of the de decorations. Again, make sure they're closed. Okay, that's good. Make sure this touching there I think that's all good any lines that you see open make sure that they're closed off okay that looks good uh, let's do the shoulder here that's fine in the top of the sleeve there. Cuff. Maybe like that. Okay, that looks good. Let's do the belt. I'm just going to get the outline done first. Good buckle. All right. And the belt is done. This is the shirt. And a button. Maybe a wrinkle here. And it's going to be the trademark checker pattern that he is so noted for. Yep, top of the sleeve. Let's bring the shoulder down. That's good. Right there. Okay. Jacket right there. We can get the checkered board patterns. Okay. 
Look, looking really good. Button there, maybe a fold here. Some kind of name tag or decoration right there. His collar. Okay. All right, let's get that face. Face shape in and his ear. Oops, I don't want to touch. Yeah, that's better. Hair. Yep. Okay, nose, a little anime nose is a small smile, a little shadow under his chin. Let's get this hair in. Yep, that looks good. Okay, and his earring. Okay, hair. Am I doing these thin to thick? So where the point's at, it's going to be thin. And then when they connect, it's going to be thick. So thin to thick. Okay, that's good. A couple more pieces here. And we're good with that. Let's get the hairline here. I'm going to kind of make it jaggedy a little bit. Okay, and then his eyebrow. Hold the pin down to make that circle better. The very bottom. Maybe about like that. Okay, and this eyebrow. Oops, that's a little bit too thick. And then start off with thin right there. Alright, and over here. And this is basically going to be filled in, so I'm just going to drag and drop black in there. Okay, and then the white part is going to be about right there. And then the eyeball, hold the pin down, make a good oval shape. Bottom of it like that. I think that's good. And this shape on his head. I've never watched this anime, so I don't know the reasoning behind this mark on his head. If you know, leave it in the comments below. Is this a birthmark or is it a scar? Is it a demon mark? What is it? There we go. We got our sketch done. So let's start filling our color flats next. So what you're going to do is... I'm going to get rid of our sketch now, delete it off, 
We're going to make a new layer. We're going to put it under our sketch. We're going to click on the sketch and set it to reference. And then when we drag and drop our colors into the layer number two here, it's going to use the lines in the reference as to where the colors go. And I'm going to lock that reference because I am notorious for coloring in on the reference layer and then that screws everything up. All right, so hair color. Let me go to my palettes again. So I've got this first brownish color. Look at there. Something is open and I can see it right away. Can you see it? What's open? That's open and there's nothing connecting here. So it put it all in his face. So we're going to two finger and get rid of that. We're going to go back to our reference layer. We got to unlock it since I locked it. We're going to go back to black. And look at all these openings. It's not good. All right. Clean that up a bit. Now they should be closed. Okay, make sure we're off the reference, back to the brown. Now when we drag and drop, it should put it in there. If you hit continue filling, you just got to tap it now with that same color. All right, I'm going to turn off the color drop. Okay, let's do the skin color, which is this one right next to the brown. We can put it in here and right there, continue filling. It's going to be in his hands. Oh, was, oops. Did I, oh, I got it, okay. Thought I had something open. There we go. No, I don't think that's his bare feet. I think that's the only skin colors. Okay, our next color is going to be, um, let's see, maybe this. brownish color here. Is that going to be his shirt? I don't know. I think it's going to be that same color as his hair. Because it's, it's a lighter shade. is going to be white yeah I think it's good but while we're here the pants are going to be the same color might as well get that done boom it's all done in one shot here we go all right so let's do we forgot his neck here let me hold down until the color picker comes up and we can pick that skin color and drag and drop it in there that's good Okay, let's do his jacket here. Now, this is going to be a green and black checkerboard. So, I should have the green and black here right on top of each other. Let's do the green first. Let's do this one green. And I'm going to continue filling. And then it's going to be a checkerboard pattern. I didn't close that off. See there? That's why it's... We'll fix that in a minute. That one's going to be black. This one is going to be green. That one's going to be green. This one is. That one. And this needs to be closed off here too. This one's going to be green. And the bottom one there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go back to my reference layer and we got to unlock it. And change back to black. And let's close some of these lines. So where was it? Uh, this one right here. That needs to be closed off because this square is supposed to be black. And was there something else? Right here. There needs to be a line 
here and look at sleeve not connected I don't think I've got black okay what about this sort of a thin thing here well since this is a green we can do this it won't really matter okay okay what's green over here on this side this is oops I don't have my color to rough on this one continue filling and this piece and this piece and this one the bottom I think that's all let's go to our black and if we want we could just click and hold down and turn off color drop choose that black color right there and we can fill in all these other ones continue filling Let me zoom in so I can see it better and what was that this one here yeah we had to close that line off. And this one. This is the inside of his sleeve. That's going to be a gray color, actually. Uh, hmm. I'll take that back out. Nope. That's black. Inside here is going to be gray. And actually, I didn't need that line there after all. Okay, let's do over here. Hmm. Eh, what the heck. Yep, I think that's good enough. Okay, his leggings are going to be white. His socks are going to be this same brown color. I'm going to turn off color drop first. There we go. Drag that in. Continue filling. Here, here. Here, here, and here. Okay. All right, and his eye color. I think his eye is going to be this brown too, but maybe darker shade of it maybe this one right here color drop turn off 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 okay and his skin color with these two shapes okay and that tattoo birthmark thingy Again, let me know, guys. What the heck is that? That color. It's basically the same color as his hair. Okay, everything else is white. In here, we're going to do a gray color, which is maybe right there. And I'm not going to worry about that line. I'm just going to color that gray. Okay, maybe inside sleeve. Inside this sleeve. Right there, and his shirt is going to be the same brown color. This one, and his cuff is going to be white. And there's a bowl, there's a little mark here. So that looks like it's inside. So we're going to do that with the gray. Is that going to look good? Nah, I'm just going to black it out. Here we go. Okay, I think that is all of the color flats. Now let's start doing our shadows and our highlight. Oh wait, we got our sword. Oh no, can't forget our sword. It's gonna be this black here. One, two, three, four from the top. Color all that in. Handle this part. That end's gonna cap's gonna be white. 
and these little dots in the middle here is going to be red. So you can either drop it in or you can just paint it. That might be a little bit quicker. Yeah, looks good. Okay, let's do our highlights. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new layer now. And we're going to do it on top of the color layer. And this is going to be shadows. So I've given you this dark color under the brown. It's just a darker shade of brown. I'm going to start putting some shadows in his hair here. So you can just, there's no really right or wrong way to do this. What you can do is turn off the reference. Now when we're on this layer and we make a closed shape, we can fill it in. I'm just going to make some shadows in here. Maybe that whole slice right there is going to be in shadow. About like that. That's good. And here, you can make it jagged to signify hair. Just close the shape off, and then we should be able to drag and drop that color in there like that. Yep. That's good. I think I came off the lines there a little bit. Don't want that. Just let your imagination run wild wherever you think there might be some shadows and you can make them jagged to give them more character. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, and let's check out this eye now. So the top part of his eye, I'm going to pick that color, and I'm going to make it darker. The way you do that is if you go to Classic, after you've got this color picked, and then you can slide the darker slider over where it's blacker in the top part of this eye is going to be darker than the bottom. Okay, and same thing over here. About like that. And then while I'm here at the eye, I'm going to start another layer on top of that. And we're going to go a lighter now. So like we did there, we did a darker. Now we're going to go to the 
we're going to lighten it up. Okay, and we're going to use an airbrush. I didn't provide you with an airbrush, but it's in your program. Go to airbrushing, click on soft brush. Make sure the size is not too giant. And we're going to try to give it a little highlight down here at the bottom, just like that. Just like that. And I don't want that color right there, so I'm just going to erase it off. Okay, looks good. Now let's go to pure white. We're going to keep our airbrush on, and we're going to give them little highlights. Let me kind of zoom out, and you can see. We got the anime eyes. There we go. Okay, that's good. Uh, let me see. Under his neck. You know what? We forgot to color in the little earring thing here. I think that was supposed to be a gray color. Let's go back to our palettes. Yeah, maybe this light gray. Again, go to our color layer. And we don't have it. We took the reference off, remember? So what you want to, if you want to, you can just click on your line layers again and set it back to reference. And then when you go to this and drop it in, it'll work right. And I didn't draw his earring on the other side. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it right now. You guys can add that in if you want. It's going to be another little rectangle over there. I'll probably add it in later. All right, let's do some, let's do the under his neck here. That's going to be a shadow color. So I'll go back to our shadow layer. And then this under the skin layer, this brownish is going to be the skin shadow. Oh, I don't want that brush. We're going to go back to our... Standard Inker Streamliner. And make the size a little bit smaller. About like that. So that's what his chin's casting the shadow on the on his neck there. Okay, let's see. Uh, put some shadows on the bottoms of his fingers here. And then maybe right here where the palm is at. It might all be in shadow there. Okay. And then possibly right here. It's going to be good. Could put some here on this side of the finger too. If you'd like. You can just do as much and as little as you like and this hand over here again the sleeve is going to be casting something okay and then along the fingers here that's good maybe the back edge here that's if I'm thinking of my light source coming in from the top left there. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and do his jacket now. So I'm not sure if I put in a little darker shade of the green. I didn't. So we're going to do another way. I'm going to show you another way to do this. Up here, we just did a darker shade of the color that's already there. I'm going to show you another way to do shading. Um, and I'm going to start a new layer above that other shadow layer. And we're just gonna change it to black. So I'm gonna go to the classic here and just double click down there in the bottom corner. If you wanna make sure it's completely, just make sure those two bottom sliders are all the way over. And we're gonna do this one a little bit different way. I'm gonna show you. A lot of people like doing it this way cause it just makes their life easier. So, maybe I think a shadow is here. Okay, and maybe I think one is here. And inside, I'm 
the sleeve is probably going to be another shadow. Okay, along here where it comes over his shirt will be a shadow. And then the jacket is probably going to be casting a shadow onto his shirt right there. That looks good. Maybe here. Maybe all along here. And then, of course, under it. Okay, let's do this side. So, again, the jacket is going to be probably casting a shadow along here. All the way down to right there. Where else? Uh, maybe here. Inside. Okay. And then the top of this shirt here is probably going to have a shadow on it. All right. And maybe over here. So if you think about the light source coming in from the top left, this side over here is probably going to have some shadow because it's the farthest away from the light. I'm just going to take that all the way up. Maybe over the earring a little bit too. That's fine. All right. And, you, and you're and you probably thinking, man, you just really screwed that up, didn't you? Not really. Because we can even start putting in the shadows on the pants here too. All right. And then maybe coming up like that. And then we're going to make another one come up right here. And all of this is going to be shadowed. Let me turn that reference off again. And make sure I'm on that shadow layer. And I've made a close shape so I can fill that in like that. Okay, we're going to have another one come about right here. Okay, and then maybe all of this. Okay, and then up here. And maybe up like that. Let's kind of break this up here. Okay. Uh, now this one here is going to have a shadow on it. A wrinkle. And this. Have a big one here. You guys are probably thinking I'm messing this up. So we're going to show you the magic here in a minute. All right, and fill all that in. Actually, we're going to connect that one all the way. And then maybe right here. Shadow on his pants. That is good. We need some on his shirt here. Maybe on the sleeve right here. All of this under here is going to be really shadowed in. Okay, and maybe across here. Here, 
all of this. Maybe right here too. All right, uh, on the belt, I'm gonna have a little bit. Right there. Get close to the edges is gonna have some. And that's good enough. Okay, what else? Uh, shadows on the leggings here. Oh, completely on this side. I'm going to just close this shape off. I should be able to fill it in there. All right, and then we're going to have some that's going to come a little bit on these lines. Maybe like that. Okay. Forgot to color in his sandal tops. We'll do that in a minute. This, we're going to have one right here. Okay, and maybe a little bit on these lines. Not a lot. I think that's good. All right, now here's where the magic's going to happen. What you're going to do, actually, I'm going to put a little bit right before we do it on his collar here. Okay, so now go to that layer where you got all that black marks on and hit the in, and we're going to take the opacity down. And look at that. We have shadows now. But that's the easy way to do it. Look at that. Does that look cool? Even on the white, no matter what color you're on, it makes a good shadow. So on the, on the green of the shirt, on the inside of his sleeves, all of that. It makes it so much easier to do it that way. Okay, let's color in his sandals here. I'm gonna go back to the color layer, and that is kind of a reddish orange color. Which one was that? Maybe this one. No! You know why? I'll put it back to reference on my lines. Here we go. Oops. Okay, and then this little circle is going to be that. And then we're going to do a gray on the, maybe this darker gray here. No! What are you doing to me? There we go. And maybe this right here too. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it. I mean, you can just keep working with it until it's never ending. You can work on it for days. But I'm going to stop it right there because we went in long enough. So there you are. Um, the Demon Slayer Tanjiro drawing. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the little bell icon so you'll get notified when I upload new videos, which is every day. Uh, New tutorials for Procreate comes out on Fridays. Sundays is the Art for Kids Sunday. And then we got shorts every other day. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, and I will see you next week. Take care.